Okay, hi. Um, I wanted to talk about my latest piece. I'll scoot back here. Um, it is 48 by 48, and you can kind of see how tall it is compared to me. I'm about five foot nine, and um, it's a uh, acrylic and mixed media on gallery wrapped canvas. And so uh, the edges are uh, an inch and a half thick, which I can show you. And um, there's uh, mixed media, and there's also um, in the mixed media, there's, I use molding paste that adds a lot of texture to the painting. So this painting I call um, the fighting cells. And I did it in, um, in thought of the COVID-19 virus and all the people that are fighting right now for their life and, or just to recover and all the people in the future that may be, and it might even be me. And so um, someone had said, uh, you know, maybe you should paint the virus. And I thought, I don't want to give the virus any energy. So um, in lieu of that, I thought, well, I'm going to paint the fighter cells. I'm going to paint uh, the lymphocytes, like the T cells and the B cells, and, and, and paint them like they're going through blood, you know, through our body, and they're going out to fight this virus. And so I wanted to make them big and, and bright and powerful and um, strong in color and have them really stand out. And so um, the background I had thought about with the, this sort of um, pinkish red was the blood system. And then these are the cells I've done. I've had have four fighter cells here and the yellow is reflective of that travel. So they look like they've got some movement to them. And so um, I did this in response to thinking of all the people fighting and wanting to, um, when you're trying to recover and your state of mind and thinking about like your fight and, you, and winning this battle and thinking about these cells being big and powerful and getting in there and helping you to recover from this virus, I wanted to create an image around that. And so that's how this piece came about. And then my desire not to give uh, COVID-19 any of my artistic energy other than finding it. So. Um, I'm going to bring you in a little bit so I can just show you some of the textures here. And um, as you can see here, I have down in this area, there's a lot of um, textures here, variations with molding paste that I've done. There's actually about uh, four or five different paintings underneath this. And um, at one point, I had even drawn a person in here. And you can see their eye here. And um, so it still is in there, you know, as I created my paintings sort of develop, you know, I, I start thinking about things and images start to find me. So I like that this is still in here. You know, it's like seeing yourself and seeing your recovery um, as you're fighting for it. And so I like that the eye kind of showed through and you can see the layers of textures that I have. It's uh, very tactile and, um, so this has texture paste throughout. Uh, each cell has um, texture to it. So, um, and then here on the sides, I it's a gallery wrapped canvas, and so um, I've painted the side. Some of the molding paste and the color kind of comes over to the side and gives it some unique textures. And um, yep, so there we go. That's a forty-eight by forty-eight, and. Um, I call it the fighter cells and stay tuned and watch. I'm going to uh, connect a video that has a little bit more close up of all the textures and goes through the painting um, coming up right now.